Hey guys, what's up? Listen, if you keep making these same money mistakes, and there are tons of mistakes that we make financially, but here's just a couple. Uh, if you keep making these critical financial mistakes, you're always going to be in a position of lack, of wanting more, needing more, not having the resources that you require to live the best life that you can live. And so a couple of things that just jump right out at me, uh, especially, you know, because the Fed has, I guess you can call it a cut. I call it a snip. It's the Fed has snipped the interest rates. Uh, you guys go crazy and dive back into the house market. If if I can get you or, or most of America to understand that a house does not solidify you in any way, a house does not confirm you as a person uh, in any way, a house does not make your life like a, a ridiculous amount better in any way. I've owned a house. You can talk to people who've owned houses. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a house, but just understand that you don't need a house to confirm you or validate you. No, that, that doesn't come from a house. That, that comes from inside. That comes from you. Uh, you know, people always say, well, money can't buy happiness. Well, it can buy a lot of things that can make you happy, but happiness is an inside job. So confirmation of where you are in life and who you are and who you were put on this earth to be and how close you are to becoming that, that comes from the inside, right? So, uh, and one big thing, and this doesn't even have to do with finances, it's that your life would be a whole lot better if you stopped focusing on what other people thought about you. That's, that's a bonus. So please don't be obsessed with buying these houses. They have, they have some value, sure. Uh, but again, houses are overpriced. Interest rates are high. Don't burden yourself just to be a homeowner. It's not worth it. Be free. Financial freedom should be your goal, not home ownership. Besides, you never own it anyway. See my other videos. I break that down. Uh, number two, stop piling money up in bank accounts and leaving it there. You got to understand that the the uh, the the how can I say? I'm trying to think of the right word. But money is a tool. The only way that money helps you is not by storing it in a bank account and you looking at it. No. Money is a tool to be used. The only value it has is when you exchange it for something that you desire. So if you exchange the money for, you know, for a vacation or some new earrings, some new makeup, whatever the case, right? Money is a tool to be used. If you put it in the bank and leave it there, it's a tool that's unused. Now, I'm not telling you to go blow all of your money. Of course not. If you watch this channel, you already know. By the way, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, welcome to the channel. I'm telling you to be smart about your money, make good decisions, and start calling your account instead of calling it a savings account, an emergency account, or uh, a rainy day account, because you don't want to manifest that. Start calling it an opportunity account, because now you want to manifest opportunities and look for opportunities. Start calling it that. Uh, the third thing, and before I give you that, if you guys want to learn how to start a business from your phone, that's what I do. I've been doing it since 2020. I have a middleman business. I partner customers with companies in Dallas, and I get paid to do it. I don't do any of the work. So I have a middleman business that I do in the moving industry, but I don't move anybody. I simply book the customer, take a deposit, this goes to me, and then I dispatch the work to other movers and they do the work. So it's pretty much brokering and dispatching for any industry you choose, whether home cleaning, commercial cleaning, uh, window cleaning, window tinting, vehicle detailing, car washing, whatever whatever you want to do, TV mounting, commercial cleaning, uh, printing, lawn care, landscape, carpet cleaning. There's so many of them you can choose from. Website design, anytime somebody needs something, you can middleman the process. That's how you get paid. If you want to learn how to do that and see the intro to middleman video, so I break it down, put the word middleman in the comments below and uh, you'll, you'll get the link. So, the last one is going to be, because uh, I'm doing this off the top of my head, so I did the housing, I did don't save money. The last one's going to be don't have a job as your only source of income. It's very dangerous. Anything could happen to that job and you lose your you lose everything. So don't allow your job to be your only source of income. You must find a way to make money without having to go to work because if you can do that, you can build wealth. Otherwise, you're going to sell your entire life for a paycheck. Don't do that. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, put middleman in the comments below if you're tired of working for a living and you want to be financially free and get to enjoy life. You need to be in that training. Put middleman in the comments below. See you then. Peace.